What is up everybody, I'm Trey Herrera and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we're gonna get straight away on this thing. Today, we're gonna try to wire most of this spaghetti. All of this spaghetti. Um, we're just gonna go through the manual of the Holly, which shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I got some battery parts coming, uh, mainly my ho hoses, mainly my wiring, um, and terminals, so then I could connect everything up. So, um, that's the deal for today. Now this week I have been slacking on videos mainly because yes, your boy got a sinus infection and I don't know if you could hear it or not, but uh, yeah. So you will not be seeing my face at all in this video. You would just be seeing the work. So let's get going. Now before we get into it, pretty much what happened is I have a collapsed lifter. Now I know this because I could hear valve train noise pretty bad and uh, my tune is not right. And I feel like 99% of it is the valve train. So I ordered new lifters, new lifter trays, and I ordered new valve seals. So we're gonna be pulling the heads on this tomorrow and going through this whole setup and making sure we seal everything. Um, I, had, I had already done a new intake manifold, all the new gaskets on that. Everything else is really sealed good. So um, yeah, that should be the last of this and then we should be able to drive this. So plan on seeing that video within the next day or so. But as for today, we're going to work on this. The other update is we're going to be working on the GTO um, within a week or two. Um, I'm going to give you a full-on plan on what's happening to the GTO and what is next. Um, every year I make, I make some big modification to the GTO. This one will probably be the biggest one of them yet. And I'm really excited about it. So um, it took forever to get to this point. So I'm really, really excited to let you guys know. So be prepared for a ton of more v GTO videos. But for now, we got to get this truck finished, this car running, so I'm able to work on the GTO. Bam! You guys see that? Transmission cross member is all in. Um, if you guys see it, this is the old one. I pretty much just notched it so it fits the T56. I made a plate and I bolted it here to the factory location. So it's a solid mount, trans mount, for the T56. All right, we got that moved out of the way. Um, there's a couple things that you're not gonna need on this stuff. Um, this is all transmission control. So we are using a manual transmission. So this is unnecessary I am going to keep it still just in case uh, Whatever the reason we decide to go automatic in this thing later or whatever um, That we could still wire it up. So this unneeded Next up um, Yeah, so they have several different Controls that you may or may not need um, I'm gonna actually tape this guy back hidden somewhere um, I haven't decided yet so pretty much what I want to do is this is this is the main stuff you're gonna hook up right and they're labeled which is really nice so this is this has its own fuel pump uh, fuel pump relay so this is will go direct to my fuel um, I believe this is just power it's a fuse power and it actually runs all the way over here see Fuse power, same thing. Um, let's see, here's your own relay. Let's see what this blue one is. I believe the blue one is a tax signal. So, as for everything else on the Holly is controlled by the Holly, so there's not really much to connect up. Um, so, these, these three are the main thing I have to figure out right now, which is not really gonna be that difficult. So, I just gotta find the fuel pump, whatever the fuel pump is on the S10. And uh, that'll be under the dash. So really what we're gonna be doing is running wires more than anything. And then uh, I'm gonna run this guy to that side to, I'll have my distribution block right here. Um, I'm just waiting for it to get here. So once I get the power wire, so I'm gonna pretty much run power wire from here to the distribution block. And then I'm gonna have a distribution block for the starter, for you know the ECU, and they'll all have their own their own terminal so then 
it's not all crowded up here on the battery itself. And then I'm gonna run several grounds. So one to the back of the head. I think I'm gonna run another one, um, like a engine strap, and then one here as well, so. All right guys, I got the harness cleaned up just a bit um, to how I like it. Uh, only complaint with this Holly harness is just random stuff like, um, you're, you know, this is the K, the wire for the map, and you just got a lot of extra lines and they're not necessarily organized the best. Um, other than that, like it's fairly clean, it's not a big deal, but uh, just small annoyances, so most likely I'm gonna tie this thing back again, um, because, you know, with the, LS1 intake it's back here so you don't need all this line so it might it'll probably be like that or so anyway um they have two grounds uh one for each side of the head um and I'm I'm sure this is just so you got no interference on the coil pack so I got a ground here on this back of the head and also a ground here on this head I have my injector harness connector on the back here um everything I'm not using I tucked away to the side so um Wideband O2 sensor is up here. This is my power, my fuse power. And then all my fuel and my tack is gonna go inside the truck. So we're gonna hang this out for now. And everything else is right here. So it's organized enough to where I like it. Said, you got a couple of things that are just kind of little a little weird um, you know this is a fuel like a fuel pressure gauge or like to run it off of the um, off of the Holly system which is really cool but since we don't have it uh, we may have it in the future but since we don't have it at the moment I just kind of have to tuck this one away most likely I'm gonna end up zip tying it to one of these guys just out of the way now it is really really clean well, when it's it'll be really really clean once once it's all said and done all right guys so what's really cool about the injector is they're labeled so this is injector seven let's see what this one is injector eight plug goes to the back plug goes to the back boom so remember uh Cylinder one, let's see, what is this? Wrong side. Cylinder one's on this side. Just gotta spin it. There we go, just like that. I know it looks nasty, but let's get them plugged in. So now the engine is wired. Um, now all I would have to do is run my wide band, which I can't do right now because we do not have an exhaust system for this just yet. So it turned into a party. We got young Seuss here. We got the father putting in work on his own truck, which I'm super hyped on. Look at him. We got my boy Oscar back there. Hey. Oscar. 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 Um, Amazon finally delivered this guy. So this is the distribution block. And uh, I got some, some wiring for it. We figured out the fuel, which is really awesome. So um, on these S10s, there's three lines, which is kind of weird to me. But you got you to gotta feed, which is right here. Sorry, Pop. Feed is right here. I believe this is the return, and I believe that is a vent line. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do some reading on it. But if you're gonna tie in the Holly system to the fuel system, Holly runs this green wire and it runs into this tan. But we use a jumper to figure out to make sure because online I had a dark green as the as the fuel line. So yes. And Sue's got some goodies for his E30. What'd you get? I got that Terminator, that Holly system. Yeah. yeah. Um, other thing is we got the other, the driver's side header in, which that's what my dad's working on right now. So yep. you have to remove the steering shaft to do so, but that wasn't a big deal either. So now we're cranking away. 
Ninety percent there, huh? I guess I'm just gonna talk and nobody responds. Yes. Yes. That's no, nice. I'm talking to you. You're good, Oscar. I know you're on the phone. <laughs> Seuss, let me see your fingers, bro. You've been putting in that work. Bro, look at my hands. Dang, bleeding. Man. Everywhere. You look like you're a guitar player with fingers like that. Got you're a blitz. mean bass guitar I got, player. I got blisters. <laughs> I can't get that thing in. I get it into the hole, but I can't get it tightened up. Gonna... Did you? I Quick question. Did you tighten everything? No. How how tight is it? It's so they they have a hey pop. Huh? They have yeah. a bit of play back and forth. Yes. Like up and down. Mm -hmm. Ah. Did you get it? Almost. I need a short extension for this. Mm -hmm. Mine doesn't have a dipstick. You want me to do it? If you can get it. <laughs> hey, you got a short extension. Yeah, let me see. Let me try. Oh, is it already in there? No, it's in there, but I can't tighten it up. I'll do it. I'll do it by hand first. You can't. I tried. It's because it's cross-threaded, Pop. I can see it right here. It's not even on there. It's just loose. It'll fall out. That's like in my head. If you put the socket on it, you can zoom it past that shaft. You can twist it. You want to try? Yeah. All right. Well, see, this is why we love Jesus. In there, deep. <laughs> he is about it. Dang, we might be able to start it tomorrow, Pop. Híjole. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I got your hopes all up. It'll probably be, it'll probably be like a, maybe, maybe a couple days. So we're gonna put a Ford nine inch in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna do wheelies. Yeah, we're trying to do Aussie style burnouts everywhere. Take it completely out to sea. Yeah, he's gonna try to test it. Yeah, you gotta plug. Yep. Yeah, there's, there's a broken one in there. Well, um, I know what to do. The only thing I don't want to do is take that head off. No, I'm not going to take the head off. Uh, oh, shit. You put weld, totally weld on it. Oh, like a tack. Yeah, you tack, 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 and then it'll come out that way. That sucks. That's why you didn't want to go in? Yeah. I have broken bolt in there. Mm -hmm. That's how you take them out on these. Amateur. Amateur mistake. I should have pulled it out too. Pulling. I saw no. it, but I ignored mine. Are you pulling the... Uh, now I have to pull the whole engine out to take that out. <laughs> You're pulling the Eric. Nah, you could... It's gonna suck, but we could... We just weld it out. You could put a little tack in here. Because it's out. You can feel it. Oh, is it? Yeah. I mean, oh. it's like, it's flush pretty much. Oh, so you're going to go... Yeah, to where... So to where you can grab something. So you can it, grab, put another okay. bolt in there. Just and tack it in there and then pull it out. Narrate, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, amateur mistake. We left one broken head bolt in the in the head we i guess one the machine shop overlooked it we overlooked it and uh now we have to fix it hoodrich style so to get these out i got to weld like a little bead onto the back of them and then so you can get some sort of pliers onto it i think you might want to get from the top might might be better and yeah, i can't I know, see the bro. glass is gonna get i was just like Oh yeah, is that little so, hole right there? Yeah, that very last one. Typical. Oh, hell. We, uh, what? Do you want us to get it? No, I could see it. I just, I need uh, space. 
You gotta bend that guy out of there. You're on it right now. Are you blind? Yeah. I'm going again. You just close your eyes. <clears throat> I think you got it though. Yeah, I did. It looks nasty in there first. We got a hell. Thanks to Seuss here, he almost got it out. Almost. It's nasty in there though. This is this is not what you want to do. This is a slight overlook, but we got it now, so yeah. Bam. Nice. Wow, good job. See? Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all no, right. You're good. Now slap those headers on and let's fire this thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's been fiending to do some some hood rat projects for a minute, huh? <laughs> Look at him. He, he's like, yep, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Here you go. You get to bolt in honors. Okay, where's the... Yeah. Let's... I'll grab you the gasket. Where's the rest of the bolts? Right. Dang, teamwork. I thought I was going to have to do this whole thing alone. Yeah, there's a certain way, so. Like oh, here you go. I put them in a responsible spot.